Hello and welcome to another Lego challenge with me Adam from Cow's Library. As always watch the video with your eyes, have a go at the challenge with your hands, brains and Lego and with permission share any videos or photos of what you've come up with. Now on Monday, two days time, libraries are reopening a bit more than they already are so the next video, because this is number 49, so video 50 might be the last video Lego challenge because we'll be able to have Lego challenges hopefully back in libraries very very soon. So what have we got for Lego challenge number 49? Let's have a look. So this challenge is all about filling a space. So when I say a space I mean something this big. This is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 studs. That's the little knobbly bits that stick up that Lego clicks onto. It's 16 by 16. Now you don't need a 16 by 16 plate like this. You could just make your own surface out of Lego bits that is 16 by 16. But that is your starting point. That is what this challenge is about filling something that is 16 by 16. Now you could go up as high as you want, you could maybe go out as far as you want. It could be that you stick to just that space and only go up a little bit. But that's the idea, 16 by 16. That is your challenge. So I'm going to show you some of the things I've come up with. The first thing I'm going to show you is uh, a sort of 3D mosaic painting um, but done with Lego so it's like a scenery it's almost like a painting because it's 2D but then at the same time you look at it from the right angle you realize that because of the way I've used the bricks it's actually a little bit 3D so I'm going to show you now this is it it's a scene there's a tiny little house on a hill there's some clouds there's a the sunshine there's some rolling hills and then maybe this bit down here at the bottom is a beach and then the sky in the background. So I'll bring it a bit closer. So as you can see, like that, it looks 2D, but then if I turn it slightly, you can see that actually, it's not 2D at all, it's 3D. It's got layers. So you could have it put on the wall like that. So it is flat, you could do that, but you can also stand it perfectly like that on its own. So you could just have it on a shelf to look at. So that's the first idea I've come up with. My second idea is a little bit different. So this is a scene. So we've talked about scenes and dioramas before in previous challenges. So this is a diorama. You've got some archaeologists and they've discovered a temple. Let's have a look. And one of the archaeologists has noticed that there are three mummies coming out of the temple, which is a bit scary. The other two are just busy doing their archaeology things, you know, investigating things they've found. I've used lots of little bits of green to try and make it look like an old temple, but it is 16 by 16. Okay, yeah, little bits of the flowers might go over the edge because they stick out at an angle, but that's okay. It's starting on a base at 16 by 16, that's the idea. So that is, I'll put it at this angle as well so you can have another look. There you go. That is my second scene. And then for my final scene, I thought I'd do something a little bit different, so it's a diorama like the second one but it is also more like the first one in the fact that the 16 by 16 has been lifted up and turned sideways so if I bring it up this way here we go it's like a spaceship scene it's two little spaceships flying along being chased by some others I've used some clear pieces here so that you can't really see them too much and then that way it looks like the ships are flying. If I tap one, they all wobble a little bit so it looks like they're moving a bit more. So you see that? It's cool. Uh, I've used Lego ice cream cones like you saw in the Micro Cities challenge we did to all 
like attached to each other to look like smoke so it looks like there's damage going on I've used bits of clear blue here to look like these things are shooting so it's just like a nice space scene and again if I turn it around you can see 16 by 16 and then comes out a bit so it's a bit of 3D but it is a scene and you can place it on a surface like that and it works it stands on its own and I really like the way the little ships wobble so it makes it look like that they're flying along there we go they are my three goes at doing something that's 16 by 16 three different ideas three different scenes one was a more of a mosaic one was more of a diorama and one was more of a micro city scale like action scene so you could do whatever you want it could be that you decide on something 16 by 16 you could build a sculpture coming up you could decide you want to do something like the mosaic coming down but comes out much further it could be totally flat and just one lego lego plate thick all the way across and you just use colors to make something it's totally up to you these last two challenges we're doing are all about you trying out all the things you've learned through all the different challenges we've done so your challenge is 16 by 16 that's studs the bits that stick up 16 studs by 16 build something build anything you want a scene a diorama uh, it could be a map it could be a, a picture anything you want go for it, it could be it could be a self portrait anything you want so as always have fun be creative and stay safe bye